Hallelujah, 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 praise Master Jesus. They are coming for what belongs to them. Let it go now before you die. They are actually coming for what belongs to them. Let it go now before you die. I use this opportunity to welcome each and everyone under the sound of my voice in the mighty name of Jesus. This is Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Basil. I am the man God is using to bring us God's fresh word every day. God bless you, family, wherever you're joining. God bless you, wherever you're subscribing. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I use this opportunity to thank all my subscribers in the house. God bless you, family. Thank you for always being there. Thank you for always watching and sharing our prophetic word in the name of Jesus. I also use this major opportunity, hallelujah, to thank all my, my members, the membership, the members in the house. God bless you. The moderators, all those that have stood the gap to become the kingdom financier, helping this ministry connecting with seed through super town, through super chat, through PayPal. God bless you all, family, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. This particular prophetic word is saying they are coming for what belongs to them. Let it go now before you die. Hallelujah. No matter how hard your heart might be after hearing this word, you need to let it go. There are moments whereby when God speaks to you, you need to let it go in the name of Jesus. Whenever God speaks, it's because God, God revealed to redeem. Hallelujah. If God tells you stop, no matter what is ahead of you, let it go. Hallelujah. There is a way that seems right before man, but the end of it. So the problem is not the beginning, it's the end. How would the end look like? I want to pray for somebody wheresoever you are watching and connecting, that as you hear the word of the Lord, harden not your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This particular prophetic word that it says they are coming for what belongs to them in the name of Jesus. At the place of prayers, I saw somebody that God wants you to let it go. Yeah, God wants you to make a U-turn. There are people that think that you will go somewhere and collect something and then you come and pretend before God. Read, listen to me, child of God. There is nothing our God cannot do. The moment you limit God and you think that you will go into the war and get something, get the photocopy of anything, then, then you will run and abandon those people who abandon where you went and took the particular thing from and the thing you can hide before the Lord. No, God does not operate that way. So this particular prophetic word is going to somebody. I saw this person. You went and took something somewhere. You went and took something. Hallelujah. I'm seeing something is like native things. Like it's a charm, a medicine, or whatever. This particular thing they gave you for protection. But along the line, you neglected this thing. But yet, this thing has not yet been destroyed. So these people have been haunting you. You have been facing a lot of attack in your dreams land. Anytime you sleep, you keep on seeing evil people, bad, bad dreams, a lot of things happening to you. You're asking yourself question, what is actually going on? This is your cry every day. I don't know where this attack is coming from. Listen to me, child of God. You cannot go and take an agreement with a native doctor on a particular thing. You agree together with a native doctor, then along the line, you just abandon it. The, the words are powerful. Hallelujah. The Bible says, wheresoever two or three are gathered. I am in their midst. In my name, I'm in their midst. So if you gather in the name of the Lord, God is in your midst. To make your word come to pass in his name. But if you gather in the name of any other person, your word will come to pass in their, in, 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 in their own name. So you made a decree. You took this particular charm. And this particular charm, you neglected it along the line. And you think that everything will just go like this. No. The Lord said, I should tell you, the Lord says, I should tell you. The Lord says, I should tell you, praise Master Jesus, that they are coming for what belongs to them. The reason why you have been facing the attacks every day and night is not because of your village people. It's because you know where the attack is coming from. And God is giving this particular word as a revelation to you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord wants you to, to remove it, let it go. Praise Master Jesus. As you keep on hiding that particular thing in secret, what you did, it will keep on speaking upon your life. I want to pray for somebody. I want to pray for somebody watching and connecting. 
I don't care to know what they give you. Is it a charm whatsoever? But in the name of Jesus, I want to pray with somebody as, as you connect to this word and follow this prophetic in, in, instruction. That connection between you and the evil people will be disconnected because they are coming for what belongs to them. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 10 from verse 10, but it, it, that for with the heart one believe. So if you're watching me and you're ready to put an end to this spiritual attack that is coming your life every day, I want you to connect together with me in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, Jezebel sent a warning message to Elisha that before tomorrow, I am speaking to you as a man of God boldly 100% that no one has a word. No one has a final say in your life. The Bible says, who is that one that speaketh forth the word upon your life and it come to pass when your God has not spoken? So tr truly and strongly, I believe that your God alone has the final say. My prayer for somebody is that, in the name of Jesus, let your God in heaven that has the final say set you free as you follow this prophetic instruction in the name of Jesus. If the idol or the particular charm is still in you, with you, I want you to take the charm. Praise Master Jesus. Pray over it. Use anointing oil. Pour it on it. Throw the charm away. As you're praying, make sure you disconnect yourself. Tell, tell God, Father, I separate myself from this charm. I disconnect myself in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray as you follow this prophetic instruction, may the Lord set you free. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.